Hello, my name is Igor and I'm engaged in creating from scratch and deploying various web solutions on top of Swarm. Maps, blocks, fair data protocol. I'm inspired by projects that can work distributed and be resistant to censorship and high load. Once inside the fair data society, the idea was born to make your own block, but not ordinary. It can work both on the usual Web2 technologies, centralized hosting, centralized domain, and using distributed technologies. Swarm instead of hosting and Ines instead of domain. It's very important that content creation takes place in one place and once and deployment to Web2 and Web3 happened automatically. To do this, we looked at various combinations of off-the-shelf blogging technologies and found something practical. To deploy the first version of such a blog, it was necessary to install many utilities and scripts to make everything work as it should. But after a while, it became possible to start your own distributed blog without installing any additional software. Everything can be done online using ready-made web services. However, you will have control over your blog and you can always leave the offered online services and manage content from your computer or server. Your visitors won't notice the transition. I will show you how you can do it. To create a blog, we use the Hugo framework. With it, you can make not only a blog, but also a landing page, a personal page, online documentation for a project, and even an online store. The source code of your project will be stored on GitHub and will use GitHub Actions technology to track changes and turn uh, the source code into website. This assembled website will be uploaded with a special action developed in the bowels of Swarm. This action will upload your site via Gateway to Swarm and uh, do everything that required. And this uploaded site will be available to all your visitors. This is all quite simple to do, but some questions may arise during the process. So let's do it all together step by step. Let's go to the repository prepared by me. It contains blog files based on Hugo and customized GitHub action deployment. Make a copy of this repository to your account by clicking the fork button. On the page that appears, you can specify the name of the new repository in your account. Click the Create Fork button and a complete copy of the project will appear in your account. Go to Settings and set the private key for your Ethereum wallet. This wallet may have a zero balance, but it's very important not to share this key with anyone. As long as you only have the private key, then only you own your block. In the example, I will create a wallet using the Vanity ETH side, but do not rely on the, its security. For reliability, it's better to use MetaMask or another solution to generate a private key. I take the created private key from this side and specify it as a repository secret under the signer key. The uploaded data will be signed with this key. After adding the key, go to the Actions section and enable the use of scripts for uploading data. Now you can add the pods that was created by me and you can create a new one. Everything can be done through the GitHub interface by copying the structure from the first post to your new post. After any change in the project repository, the action of building and uploading the site to Swarm will be called. To get information about the uploaded site, you need to wait for the action to complete and open the result information section. The site URL will contain a permanent link to your blog. Now you can share it with your readers. After each change to your blog, this link will not change. However, you may notice that the centralized service bzz.link is used as a URL. This is a gateway for ease of use of Swarm. The most important part of this link is everything before .bzz.link. This is a site ID or content ID. If you or your visitor open your site ID with a local node, uh, they can still access it. Sometimes editing and creating posts can be more convenient if you use an interface specifically designed for this. 
For Hugo, this interface is the forestry.io service. You can connect it to your repository and manage content just like in a regular CMS. Every time you change content in forestry, it creates a new commit in your repository that triggers the site's build and upload action. In order to have a more beautiful identifier for your site, you can register the INS domain, take the feed manifest value from uh, the result information section and enter it as the value of this domain. After these steps, anyone can access your site by domain name through a gateway or local node. After the steps taken, you become one of the first owners of your own distributed site. I think it's just amazing. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, you can contact me via this email.